Salutations Nicky Rickies. Welcome back to another video and today we are doing my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. Now before we get into this I want you guys to know that this is my personal opinion so if you guys want to tell me your guys' top five or your favorite Pokemon let me know in the comments below. And without further ado let's start today's video with number five. Alright, here at number 5, we have Crocodile, and the reason why I really like this Pokemon so much is, well, one, in the TV show, Ash's Crocodile had so much sass, it was just really awesome to see, and um, just overall, the attitude and the determination this Pokemon had really drew me to him when Black and White came out. I really wanted one when I was playing when I first got Pokemon Black which was one of my first Pokemon games I was very happy to get that uh, growing up because it's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon games to date because Crocodile was one of my favorite if not my favorite Pokemon to come out of Gen 4 was it? 4 or 5? I don't know um, but all I know is that uh, I can't remember what gender it was, but it was a great Pokemon. It was my favorite one to come out of that series. And his design is cool. Um, his moveset is awesome. And recently, was, since the Unova region was released to Pokemon Go, I've been trying to get a Crocodile, but he's not released yet, sadly. But when he does, I will be filming that, and I will also be starting to do more Pokemon Go videos. And I definitely would like to show you guys me finally getting my crocodile because he's definitely one of my favorite pokemon as you can tell from this list but all in all i love this pokemon he doesn't get as much credit as he deserves a lot of people hate on him because of the unova region it was not it was not taken the best because of the show because that was ash's worst region but it's still a great uh, region because the game was amazing I love it and the show was still good but I do agree that Ash was not a good trainer in that one he just caught a lot of Pokemon which I'm okay with and just at least be a good trainer and he was so eh, eh. but anyways Crocodile is a great Pokemon and that is why he deserves number five on this list all right at number four we have Porygon Z. Now, the reason Porygon Z is here is because I love Porygon. I loved him since Gen 1. And when Porygon 2 was released, still loved him. He became my new favorite. And for the last little bit, Porygon Z, I, as much as I liked him, I didn't like him as much as Porygon 2. Because I like the design of Porygon 2 better. But I've grown to love Porygon Z a lot. Ever since I got him in Pokemon Go, ever since I just started seeing more of him, and he's just a great, great Pokemon. The design, uh, all the Porygons are amazing. Like, it's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon evolutions of all time, and I just, I just love the design of Porygon Z. His move set is not the best, but I mean, it's still a great, great Pokemon, and he looks cool. And I don't know if he was in the show, but if he was, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know because I would love to see that in the show. That'd be awesome. Um, like, it's really the color palette that he has on him and just the overall design. Like, a balloonish kind of Pokemon when he starts off as like a little cubic type of Pokemon. Then he goes from a balloon Pokemon to even like a um, better balloon Pokemon. It just... It's just awesome to see, and I really like him, and he just looks adorable, and there's not really much else to say for this one, because uh, this Pokemon, the only reason why he's one of my favorite is because of the design itself, because I just think it looks really good, it looks like a, mem like, it looks like a, a memorable Pokemon, uh, it looks iconic, like it can be iconic. And if you do at least play a couple Pokemon games, you should know who that is. But yeah, all in all, 
amazing Pokemon, and that's why he deserves number four on this list. All right, at number three, we have Sudowoodo. Now, this is definitely going to be a very unpopular opinion, but I love Sudowoodo. Um, everyone finds him annoying and just overall a uh, walking meme Pokemon. But I love him. He's so adorable. And in the Pokemon movie, like Power of Us, I think is what it was called. I loved Sudowoodo in that one. Just seeing his determination of wanting to find a trainer when he did, he would not give up. He was just a nice supportive Pokemon. And also, he was the first shiny I ever got. I got a shiny Bonsly, and then I evolved him into a shiny Sudowoodo. And I have a lot of shiny. I have a lot of Sudowoodos. And I'm, I was just. I wanted to mem rem commemorate that moment with, um, because I love my shiny Sudowoodo on Pokemon Go. And it's one of my favorite Pokemon I have. And I've always loved Sudowoodo. His design not only did it for me, but also his moveset. He's pretty good. And I like the events. I like him in the games. It just He's a really well-balanced Pokemon with the design looking amazing and with the moveset being pretty good and I was very pleased with this Pokemon and personally I really wish Ash got one but you never know I seriously doubt it for the new anime but you never know I uh, you just never know he got he already got a Gengar and right like Lucario no he got Ryulu I don't know if it's an old to Lucario yet but all, all in all I love I love Sudowoto he looks amazing and he's just a, a great Pokemon. It looks, move, and everything. He's definitely my favorite grass type Pokemon. He, he like, it's a good representative of the grass types. It's literally a tree. And I thought that was really cool. And that's why he deserves number three on this list. All right, at number two, we have Charizard and I know I like in the first Pokemon Go episode I was talking about how Charizard was my favorite and I really wanted him it's because he was my favorite one that was available and he still is if I could make it tied I would because I love Charizard he was my favorite for the longest time and if I had to choose one out of the two I would have to choose the other one because the other one I just like more and it's done more for me as of motivation like um the next pokemon is one of the reasons why i really got into pokemon in the first place and charizard is just awesome it was it, he's awesome in smash like all three evolutions are great charizard's so badass he's probably one of the most I iconic video game characters of all time if you show them to someone you, he, he, you they would know who it is Charizard's an obvious choice like he's popular he's great he's badass he's just a great Pokemon to look at the moves he's badass in the show and in the games and I was so happy when I got my Charizard in, um, in Pokemon Go it was one of my favorite moments and one of my friends filmed it so in the next Pokemon Go video if you guys would want to see it I can put it in but yeah, all in all, Charizard, amazing Pokemon. I'm very sorry that he didn't get first, but you'll see why I chose this next one as my number one Pokemon, which also will be a shocker to you. And number one, Greninja. Now, I know a lot of you guys were expecting Froakie because he's like, one of my one of the main characters on this channel as well as Merlin and Ploof but like those two are made up characters Froakie is the only video game character I have that actually has a personality on my show and the reason why Greninja is my favorite is because well, I, I love all three of the evolutions it's my favorite evolution Greninja in the show was so badass like, Ash Greninja is my favorite. Um, 
Mega Evolution or whatever Pond Evolution, I don't care what you want to call it, but it's just, it was mind blowing to see. I love it. it was, he's just so badass. I love the ninja style and martial art style that he has, cause, and I can really relate to that because I do martial arts. And his design is amazing. It's like the best I've seen of Pokemon in a long time. And. Pokemon X was my first Pokemon game I actually played to the end. And it's that was a game where I really started getting into Pokemon. And I loved it. I loved the characters. Like, uh, uh, that gen generation was probably my favorite because of how, how perfect it was. The game was perfect. The characters were perfect. The show was perfect. And the cat, like Ash's team from that show, I would really like to see at least one more, like, main show with those four. Like, Ash, Clement, Bonnie, and Serena. I would be very down to see that, but, uh, you can only hope. But, yeah. Greninja will always be my boy if I had to, if I had to choose, because the, the design really got me into the franchise. The Pokemon itself, the badass attitude, and all in all, just Greninja is my favorite Pokemon of all time, and I just, and I just can't not, I just can't not praise him, because I don't see any flaw in him, except for in Smash Bros. That boy needs some major buffs, but that's besides the point. I want to, like, I just, I could just be here all day just praising Greninja, but That'd be boring. But yeah, Greninja is number one on this list. So there you guys have it. That is my top five um, favorite Pokemon. And yeah, that's why Greninja deserves number one on that list. He really does deserve it. As sad as you guys are, that Froakie isn't on here. He would be number two. But I felt it cheap to do, like, two evolutions. Like, if I did, like, Charmeleon and then Charizard, like, something like that, that just wouldn't be fair. Because um, then most of this list would not be that unique at all. Um, but anyways, I want to say thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Please make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nick Rick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.